just to catch you guys up on, a few episodes back, we've done it a couple times, where I put an ad on Craigslist uh, that just said, hey, man, I'm a lady that loves to get off to dudes jerking off, so please call in. With um, call into this voicemail, I put our show's line on this, there. You're, this is so brilliant. I'm just I'm telling you, this is we're talking about the differences between our shows. <laughs> that you would do something. This is so brilliant. I'm so jealous. Yeah. So we we posted it on. I put a fake voicemail greeting as a woman being like, oh, "Leave a message," yeah. you know. <laughs> and our, we did it again where I got specific, like, "Hey." What would you do with my panties and my vibrator if I left it in a room alone with you? And they called back and said I'd sit on your vibrator and shit, and they got really graphic. Um, so anyway, I decided to call these guys. I had like 15 numbers, and um, I called them acting like I was the husband of the wife that they uh, – uh, Phase three here. <laughs> um, so I decided – they're not the greatest prank calls because the first prank calls I've ever really done, you get really self-aware while you're doing them. I kind of sound fake, but they buy it. Oh, they buy it. <laughs> and out of 15 numbers I called, I got two people. So luckily, like, I had a big number to choose from. A lot of people didn't answer. A lot of people just hung up as soon as I said something, you know. Yeah. Um, but these two bit. Um, <laughs> so I'll play their f- dirty message first so you can hear that it's yes. definitely them. We need the context. Right. And then um, here it is. E is the number here. Chris. Oh, yes. Nope. Uh, my keyboard's down. Hi, this is Chris. I'm replying to your message. If I had your panties and your vibrator, I'd probably wrap your panties around my face. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend a lot of time on smelling your pussy. What I really gets me off is smelling your ass. <laughs> It becomes calm after a certain point. <laughs> okay, so you guys get the gist. Oh my! I am doing it wrong. I wonder if I'd come immediately if I just like I want to smell your ass. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't spend any time smelling your pussy. <laughs> okay. Um. And <laughs> okay. So be clear here. It's not the best. I could have done better with these, but we get the reaction we need. Uh, it'll be great. <laughs> the... Hello. Hi, is this is Chris. We'll turn it up. Uh, are you the guy that's been leaving voicemails on my wife's fucking phone? Uh, I have no idea who, what you're talking about. Who is this? Uh, it, it doesn't matter. You've been leaving voicemails on my phone saying you want to put her fucking panties in your mouth and smell her ass and shit? <laughs> Sit on her dildo? It's from this number, dude. I saw it on her voicemail. Who, who is this? Like, who's your wife? I don't... I have no idea. Her name's Heather? <laughs> Tell me something, man. Are you fucking my wife? Look, man, I don't know a Heather. Are you sure, man? I don't know who you are. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. His phone number was on her phone. <laughs> on her voice... On, like, on her call ID, you know? You... Whoa, you whoa. You have fucking Heather, man? <laughs> no, I, I don't know a Heather. I'm so. I, I would be. You sound really upset, but, but there's something sick. going on that I don't understand. <laughs> You're not fucking my wife, man! No, no, I don't know your wife. I don't know anything. I don't know a Heather. I'm, I'm, you didn't say you were I'm, fucking sit on her dildo and put up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, so it kind of ends there. Oh, um. <laughs> oh my He's god! He's so guilty. Dude. If I can crawl into this couch, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. My vo- my heart is just beating through the whole time, and like it's kind of dumb because it shouldn't be. Because what happens? They hang up, and that's it. Like, but yeah. in, but such a rush while I'm calling these guys. I think you're so excited that the show is going to just benefit from an awesome <laughs> bit. Well, I call it back. <laughs> <laughs> this one sounds good, but okay. <laughs> Hey, Chris. Uh, 
Hey, man, is this Chris? Yes. Hey, man, I just want to call and say I'm sorry about... Oh, no. Uh, you don't... Definitely don't, don't worry about apologizing. Did you figure out what's going on? I, I, I uh, sat down with my wife. <laughs> I, I screwed up. I fucked up big time with her, and she she told me about the Craigslist ad she put out and stuff, and... Um, <laughs> she put out a Craigslist ad, and, and you you called and left a message for her. She said, said oh. it was Chris and the voice. The best man, part is know. his guilt here. Um, I just want to make <laughs> things right, you know, and <laughs> I just want to make my marriage work. And she said, yeah, yeah. right. And she just she wants another dude, another guy you know, <laughs> to join us. <laughs> I, I know you left the voicemail. You know, it was your number. Said it was Chris. Weird. And the... I didn't leave a message. <laughs> I just want to make my marriage right. And if, if that takes uh, having another man in the bedroom with us, then that's just got, that's what it's got to be. You know, I fucked up and I just want to make it up to her. And uh, she wants you to join us. She Is... wants me to join you. Yeah. He's thinking about it. I want to make things right. <laughs> Within the next month or so. Are you, are you just kind of thinking about it? Are you on board? I'm mulling it over. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm okay with it, but I, I have to be there. You know, I have to be there. Sure. <laughs> And it kind of ends, and we like the rest of it is us setting it up. But I should have like pushed it like she wants to see me put it in your ass, you know. But you're setting it up. Yeah. I... Fucking. Oh my god, the world is anew. <laughs> I didn't know that this stuff really happens. He's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Jesus. When would this happen? He says. Oh Jesus Christ! I love it. I, I, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't left any of these voicemails, but I'll totally fuck your wife. <laughs> so where should we meet? Oh my God, uh, dude! Oh, the the lengths you, you will go to for a bit. <laughs> you called this guy back. Well, there's one more, my friend. Oh. There's another guy here. Oh, oh Jesus. Here's his first message. Hey, girl, I want to eat your fucking panties off of your fucking ripe juices. Oh. And lick your pussy at butthole. It was kind of hard to hear. He goes, I want to lick your pussy in wet juices and your butthole. Well, at least he wanted to spend some time in the pussy. The first guy kind of scared me because he's like, I'm not even going to bother with your pussy. <laughs> you know that part of you that's meant for me to bother? I'm not even I'm not even going to get near there. Let's just move on to the second phase here. He called uh, back and left another voicemail here. Oh, yes. Hey, baby. <laughs> I would love to give you a vibrator and stick it up my ass. <laughs> get in, stick it up your fucking pussy. I'd love to suck on your pussy. He's hard to understand. Okay, so you get the gist of his voicemail. Yeah. I'm going to lick your butthole. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a drunk Mexican. That's what I'm guessing. Right. Yeah. Well, listen. I mean, both these guys, when I'm talking to them, you can clearly tell that they're the same guys who left the message, which is what I love. Is this guy get really low and you can't hear him? And <laughs> Right. Okay, yeah, just yeah. listen to this one. Okay. I can't wait. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Yeah, is this the guy that's been leaving voicemails on my wife's phone? What the hell are you talking about? Dude, you fucking left a voicemail saying you want to put fucking panties in your mouth and we use a vibrator up your fuck, ass. Uh, what the fuck? That's a fucking wrong number, motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bitch. You said you want to put a fucking vibrator fuck up your ass. You the wrong number, you stupid piece. idiot. It's from this fucking fuck phone you. number. Fuck it's, you, bitch. This isn't right on the <laughs> fucking phone. Fuck you. You got the wrong number, idiot. Then why is your phone number on my wife's fucking phone? You know what, you know what bitch? Don't be calling my number, right? Why don't you stop calling my wife's you number? Are, idiot. <laughs> That's it. Uh, typical fucking response. Like, fuck you. Right. You got the wrong number, motherfucker. We gotta add Andy T. Miss that. Oh. We should play it. You wanna play it for me one more time? Yeah, of course. Why not? Andy. I mean, it's funny enough. I oh, will add the soundboard. Andy, you missed that 
me calling that guy. I'll play it one more time. I think it was entertaining enough to play a second time, right? Yes. I'm, I'm really laggy. Are you really laggy? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> so much lag. All right. Listen to this one call. We'll play it one more time for Andy T. I just love Hello? his reaction. Hello? It's such a guilty reaction. Yeah. yeah, is this the guy that's been leaving voicemails on my wife's phone? What the hell are you talking about? Dude, you fucking <laughs> left a voicemail saying you want to put fucking panties in your mouth and <laughs> use a vibrator up your ass. Fuck, uh, what the fuck? That's a fucking wrong number, motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Bitch. You said you want to put a fucking vibrator up your ass. That's the wrong number. <laughs> you piece of idiot. It's from this fucking fuck. phone number. Fuck you, bitch. It says it right on the fucking phone. <laughs> fuck you. You got the wrong number, idiot. Then why is your phone number on my wife's fucking phone? You know what? You know what, bitch? Don't be calling my number, right? Why don't you stop calling my wife's are, number? Idiot. That's it. Um, hangs up. Um, you got to do this again and say it's like my 15 year old daughter. Right. Oh, that would be great. It, it, this is illegal. You're, <laughs> you've committed a crime. Oh, that's <laughs> genius. Yes. So we should get together and just have a good crank call session. Oh, I couldn't. I will definitely love to be in the room, but it, I do not have the stones. <laughs> it takes a lot. Uh, like, you know, like I'm very envious of Jacob from Podtact. I don't know how he does it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got one more. I called that guy back again. Yeah. <laughs> I go the same route, Bro. though. Dude, just just be honest with me, man. Are you <laughs> fucking my wife? <laughs> well, why are you crying, dude? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. It's a voice, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't know you. I don't. I don't even know this number, dude. It said you you were on the phone and you wanted to put her dildo up your ass and you were jacking off and you couldn't wait to see her. <laughs> I just don't what, what are you talking about? I got a, I, I got a woman of my own. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not fucking my wife, man. I don't man. know you. I don't even know your wife, dude. Why, why, why are you crying? I don't know you. I don't know your wife. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know what this. You can hear her in the background. Oh. Okay. I just, it's just me and my wife have been having major problems, you know, and I saw this number, and this guy was leaving fucking voicemails about her panties, and... I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Yeah. You know, honestly, you, you, need, you need to talk to her. I mean, all I do is I go to work, and I come home to my fiance, and, you, you know, we asshole. do life. I don't, if you're having problems with your wife, I'm sorry. Dude, I, I fucked her sister, and she caught me, and I was, like... She's probably out running around on me. Well, it's not with me, buddy. You know what? I'm it's not with not. you. That's what she's I'm saying in the background. If you it's were not with you. Sister, that's, that's on you, buddy. You I know. Me. I have a drinking problem. I made a mistake, you know? All right. All right, buddy. I'm trying to go to sleep because I have to work tomorrow. All right, I'm man. I'm sorry about what's going on with you. All right. I'm sorry. All right, bro. Bro. Maybe, maybe we could hang out <laughs> I don't know you, man. How am I going to hang out with you? Uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Yeah, where are you at anyway? Yeah, and then they just talked to me about what my area code's at, and I hung up. <laughs> so. Yep. Dude, that guy was... I'm 714. Dude, that's why he freaked out, because his fucking fiance was with him while he did that. In the first call, you know that's why he freaked out. Yeah. So how soon were these calls when you called them back? Like immediately? No, no, no. Uh, it was like three weeks after they've called. Oh, no, no. From your first call to the second call back to them. Uh, about five minutes. <laughs> I waited like five minutes to call yeah, them back. Just let it percolate a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That is glorious. Oh.